Hello everyone, welcome to Shabbat service. I am the Holy Prophet Elijah, uh, known in this life as Michael Parr. I have a very important message once again for you, uh, but first we're going to recite our creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of the heavens and the earth. I believe in Yeshua, the Christ, his transcendent Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born to mankind. He was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, and on the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and was seated at the right hand of the Father. He has come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the word of God, the returned Christ, Lord Rael, in his great commandment to love God and love each other, in the holy ecumenical order of Christ, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We're going to recite the Lord's Prayer. Please bow your heads. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our transgressions, as we forgive those who transgress against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Tonight at sunset, we'll begin the month of Elul. A month dedicated to repentance. It is quite possibly the last month for repentance. If we are to believe all of the codes that are coming out about the coming destruction. Rabbi Glazerson just found a code for the war of Gog and Magog, the biblical war in Ezekiel 38 and 39, supposedly happening next month. For those of you who are not familiar, next month contains the Days of Awe, which is pretty much your very last possible moments to truly repent, admit, and confess your sins beg forgiveness, and completely change your ways before the Day of Judgment. That is the day when you no longer can repent for the coming year. It is cut off and God decides the fate of the world. It's very possible that that fate has already been determined and that you will suffer greatly because you refuse to repent, you refuse to admit your wrongs. In fact, it is almost guaranteed at this point. But for those of you listening to this message, you have a choice. You have a choice to bend your knee, confess your sins, beg God and the Lord, Rael, for mercy and grace to fall upon you. And remember, grace is not earned, it is given to those who may not even merit it. So pray for grace. Pray for mercy. Pray that you escape the coming destruction. Very few will actually listen to this message. This is a very sad reality, but it is true nonetheless. 99% of the world, 90, over 99% will never see this message as they hurl straight towards their demise. It is 
it's with a heavy heart that I have to admit those words. But I pray that you will avoid their coming destruction and you will repent and offer yourself to the Lord. Obey the very basic commandments, the Ten Commandments. Obey the command to tithe and support the great mission. Spread the word if you cannot tithe as a substitute for tithing. Pray. Pray for mankind. Pray that the worthy escape destruction. As this very well may be the last year that God offers the world a chance to repent. Pray that you spread this to as many people as you can. Share it in every group possible, on every platform and forum possible, that you might bring others to the truth, to Lord Rael, the return price, that they might see and believe. So may the Lord shine his light upon you and bless those who hear this message and spread it. Thank you again for joining me on this Shabbat service.